Hello YouTubers, Mike here from the Hulk's Mission channel. Welcome back to another update on Forkit. Um, right now we're still working on the 123 blocks. I haven't had much time to get on them, but uh, now we're in the final stages of making these things. And uh, to catch the final tail end of the last two, I thought I'd bring the camera in and share it with you guys so you guys can uh, see what challenges these uh, forks of uh, or this fork is uh, uh, offered up in ways of uh, machining so I'll uh, focus in on the machine a little bit um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not but uh, this bridge port is, is built in metric the dials are all metric on it and so when you're looking at the dials uh, things might look a little strange to you but uh, I made these one, two, three blocks uh, in on the outer dimensions in inches, and I converted it to metric. And then uh, the holes I'm drilling in metric because that's all I've got right now. I mean, yeah, I could order up a set of drills that are um, imperial and uh, caps and dies and all that good stuff, but. Uh, Metrics what I got to work with here, so this is what I'll use, and um, the principle is the same. But uh, when I'm looking at drilling the holes, you know, there's the distance between centers is half inch, and it converts to um, 12.7 millimeters or something like that. Anyway, I, I calculated it out and wrote it down on top of the vise. It's gone now from well, at least most of it is from the coolant when it. Uh, ran over top of the vise uh, during the drilling procedure. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, get on this and uh, let you guys share in the fun. And since this machine doesn't have a DRO and uh, I'm having to use the dials, I have to find zero on this. I can't just uh, set up a whole plot and then uh, dial it in on the dial. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So. What I've been doing is an even bigger pain in the ass, is uh, setting zero every time that I put in a new block. And uh, the way I started out is I calculated out how much the uh, distance was between each hole line. And since it was the same for this edge and the other edge, let me grab the block here. Um, I was able just to flip it like this and like this or like this to drill these sides and then uh, this first row was also on that same measurement so when I came out on the uh, X axis or the y, Z axis let's see no it'd be the Y axis um, the next row over I had to go and take a, each block out of the vise put it back in and so forth and then drill the holes so, anyway, um, like I said, metric machine. This is a 10 millimeter shaft, uh, speak close to 3 8 And the dials on a metric bridge port, one rotation is 5 millimeters, i.e., uh, roughly 200 thousandths. So, it comes out to about closely the same. The uh, thousandths dial is, I think, a little smaller. In diameter than the, the metric dial so um, when I set zero on the dial I could just need to go in I, I get five millimeters which is half the diameter of uh, this uh, edge finder because it's a 10 millimeter diameter and so I only have to go in one rotation to hit zero on the edge and then I dial in the 12.7 millimeters or 12.75 and so on now on these blocks first hole is a 10 millimeter next one is a smaller one because it's getting a thread and so on and an alternative the center hole has a is smaller on the center row for a thread so this is going to be a standard uh, just Joe Blow um, one two three block and uh, on this metric machine, let's see, I'm running the uh, 
edge finder at uh, it's built to go up to 600 rpm so I'm going on the on the uh, dial here at 550 which is close enough for government work Back it off again and recheck to see if it's still on the ground. Normally I'd stick these drill bits in a collet, um, since this is a, a 10 millimeter, I could stick it in a 10 millimeter collet and drill it and be more accurate on the pole, but I have a tool change. I got an 8.5 millimeter, it should be 8.3 for uh, M3 or M10 threads. So I got to switch back between uh, drill bits and they don't make an 8.3 collet, so I'm kind of stuck and so I'm gonna I just use the Albrecht chuck it's not quite as accurate as I call it but uh, this one has pretty low run out and I'm pretty happy with uh, with this uh, with this uh, chuck and so it's going to be accurate enough for the project at hand so now I gotta bring it on to zero on edge never mind my fat head in the way here So, check the drill bit, see if the tip's right on there, and it is. Well, I guess you can see that zero on top. So now, I'm going backwards on this dial. I could go to the other and uh, run it forward, but uh, I already got it figured out how many uh, divisions I have to have on this end, and so I'm just going to run it backwards on the dial and so I got to go two full revolutions for 10 millimeters and then another 2.7 so there's one there's 10 millimeters there's two millimeters for 12 and 7.5 and then just a skosh over 7.5 in order to get the center Hope you were able to see all that with my fat head in the way. I like running coolant on this machine. This machine was uh, originally built with a coolant sump and a whole bit on it. And uh, I get better results with the coolant. The hole is a little more accurate. And uh, yeah, I could use oil. Um, but I feel the longevity of, of uh, the cutting edge of my tool is a little better with the coolant.
Uh, here's a little tip for some of you that uh, are having difficulty on uh, when you're drilling through something. Um, I've had the drill bit stall on this machine here too, on this project even. Um, when you're drilling you can feel the bit in the handle. Let me zoom this out here a little bit. Let's see if we can get a So as you're pulling on the handle, you can feel the resistance on the handle and you'll feel like a scraping sensation in the knob or in the handle as, as the drill bit advances through the work. Now as your tip pierces the work, you'll feel a little, it'll get spongy a little bit. And if you paid attention to when this, uh, when I was just drilling here, you would have noticed a little wisp of steam come out, which with coolant is the only time you're going to see that. Normally with the oil it's going to be smoking all the time so you really don't have that uh, feedback to, to tell you when you're piercing through. Um, with the coolant you do. And so you'll feel the handle get a little spongy and then the, it feels like the bottom is going out of it. And so you know, okay, now my drill bit is about to pierce the work and uh, so you just let up off the pressure a little bit so you don't stall the bit in the chuck, ruin your chuck and your bit in the same process. Um, like I said, I, I have stalled this bit in this project on a couple other blocks. So <clears throat> I just wanted to point that out for folks that uh, are just starting out and uh, trying to get a feel for their machine. So now it's time to switch the drill bit. And what I have to do here, let's see, get you back on the... Now I have to reset zero on this because I don't have a DRO, manual dial only. And so now I dial another 12.7 millimeters. So it's one, two, And 1.7 and a skosh. And then it's like Tom Litton says, rinse and repeat. So I'll let you follow along here for the last three holes on this block. And that pissing noise in the background is the coolant draining out of the table back into the sump.
down a little bit so you can see the arm movement. Sorry about the wobble on the camera. Bigger drill bit, there should be some steam at the end of the hole. This one here isn't made out of the forklift fork. It's actually a piece of mild steel, but um, it drills a whole lot different than that other forklift material. The forklift material, when you look at it, drills virtually without any burrs on it. And this uh, mild steel, when you look through the holes, I don't know if you can see that or not. Try to get it in there. There's all kinds of burrs left in the holes. I got to run the reamer through all this again in order to clean those holes up. Otherwise, I'll have burrs in the in the holes. So the only drawback to running coolant is it, it is a big mess. Mm -hmm. 